Batman Arkham City is one of the greatest games that I have ever played and it's for one simple reason. This game has actually given me a real life moral lesson. And I know that might sound silly to some of you, but there's a reason why I say this. See, back in my early days when I first played Batman Arkham City, it was such a wild concept to me, the idea of saving the bad guy, to actually go out of your way to protect the criminals of Gotham. It just didn't make sense to me. From my perspective, the bad guy was always supposed to be bad, and that means as the good guys, it was our job to beat them up. But Batman changed that idea for me forever. It was the ending of the game in particular that I'll never forget. something funny even after everything you've done i would have saved you the thing that makes this scene so critical is that from batman's perspective even the worst criminals of gotham deserve to be saved and it's such an interesting idea because you see it all the time people talking about how easy it would be for batman to just kill joker to kill clayface to kill all of these other guys right take them out and just be done with it and yeah, that would be easy. That would be straightforward and simple to do. But what's easy isn't always necessarily better, you know? Like, I know a lot of people hate these villains and just say, why doesn't he just, you know, take them out? But it's funny because it takes so much more work to try to save them. And despite the fact that it takes so much more work and causes him such agony, he is still willing to try to the utmost limit. Even when it seems like he should just absolutely break his one rule and just finally do it, he doesn't fail, he doesn't falter. Batman as a character poses a very interesting question. If your brother, if your father, if your mother, if your best friend, your girlfriend, whatever, was a criminal, at what point would you say that they're beyond saving? At what point would you just give the okay to go ahead and shoot them, kill them on sight? Where is the limit on forgiveness? It's easy to say that Joker deserves to be murdered. It's easy to say that guys like Bing deserve to be murdered or two-faced right but how far would you go to try to save your own family if they were criminals and i think that's one of the underlining pinnings of what makes a mindset so truly heroic is when you try to do something that seems like it should fail right that's impossible people who run into burning buildings to try to save somebody people who jump into rivers to try to save people from potentially drowning even when they're way far off into the deep you know it's that idea that when all else seems bleak, they still go for it. So Batman trying to save the most irredeemable people, the people that we view as the absolute worst, is such an interesting concept because many people would just say, let them go. That's it. There's nothing more we can do for them. So the fact that he's willing to go the extra mile is what makes him one of my favorite heroes of all time and truly changed my perspective when it comes to how I think about criminals in general.